Hey everybody, this is Jay Stargard, international artist and owner of Stargard Art. Okay, I only have a few minutes out in my shop today, but I could not stand it. I had to come out. I am super excited to get the butterfly onto this post and, and have that happen today. I just cannot stop thinking about it. Out of all the things that I'm doing today, I just on the top of my list. So here I am, I'm out here and I'm doing it and everything else will wait because this is my priority and I'm so excited. We're gonna get this baby up and on. So the um, so the tax, tasks are completely prepped this, ready to go. So I don't have to mess with it once it's up and um, get the right angle and weld that baby on and um, call it good for today. So it's a quickie, but um, big. <laughs> I'm just taking sandpaper and cleaning the outside of this. My tip of the day, here we go. The brighter something is, the more it comes to you. The darker or, or uh, texture pulls it back. So check your lines on whatever you're doing, it being painting or, or decorating, those pop pillows that you have on the couch, those bright colors make you go pop in your eyes there, that kind of stuff. This, this part of it, I want it to disappear. I want it to come back and, and, and have very little attention to it. So I'm placing a, um, I think this is what, four? This one's 600, I'm gonna take it to 400. I should actually be using 400. I'm gonna use 400 grit and knock this all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna bring this a little closer. Okay, watch this. So this was at 600 and I'm gonna knock it down. Okay, see how that happened? And it's darker there, right? So um, super cool, whereas it gets brighter. Well, it's the gunk is there. It was brighter before. So perfect example of it. So that there's very little shine to it. And this part is stainless steel. That's my tip of the day. So think about it. Bright is hey, and subtle and quiet is darker and possibly textured. Okay, I am. So remember water and a little bit of dish soap. That allows really nice lubrication to happen along the whole process of the cleaning up. Super nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get it up and on. Everything needs to be done beforehand because it's once you get that butterfly on, everything becomes difficult as far as um, any caretaking that needs to happen after. I want a real consistent, real consistent expression of this sandpaper across all of the seam surface. 360 degrees around this whole process. Everything, front, back, middle, bottom, top, side, side. I want everything consistent because if there is any variation in that, your eye is going to be pulled to it. And that's not okay. Well, okay, sometimes it is if you want it to, but not in this. I want this to disappear because nothing should be detracting from the pure beauty of, get it up here, of 
the sculpture itself. And little things like that can be a little distracting. And I do not want any of that going on. Oh, see that right there? All vertical, all vertical. Yeah, that's good. I call that sweet. Because it's all sandblasted, we don't want to get any oils. Even though my hands are really clean, we don't want to get any oils on the bronze at all. So, gloves, gloves, gloves. Cheapest place I find to buy gloves right now is Costco. Look at that. <laughs> I was wondering about that. That didn't look so good when it was... It was out and just thrown in the tub, so I don't know what the deal with that one is, but here we go. So, yeah, so Costco, that feels good. Uh, that one that one looked funny. I don't know, maybe that was from another project a while ago. Okay, here we go. I just, I'm looking for angle right now. Sucker is heavy. <laughs> okay, I was gonna do my traditional setup that I do. Okay, pretty cool setup. So I have a level spanned across the legs right there so that I know where I want the front of those legs to be and the front of the butterfly in relationship to the base. And, oh, it's so exciting because you get to think and do these things and it's super fun. And um, so I'm gonna get a pretty good tack and then set it up and make sure that um, it's where I want it and um, that everything is feeling really good and secure because um, it's a heavy butterfly. It's a heavy one, and uh, just want to make sure that it feels good, good, good. Okay, I gotta look at it from the far side too. Super important to check all the angles. You have to do it till it's right. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, so this is a big deal. And um, this area right now about what we're gonna do has a super high potential for the rock having trouble. <laughs> so it, um, the heat's gonna get, it's gonna get hot and I wanna get on and off as quick as I can so I don't crack, break the rock because then I'd have to go all the way back and start again. So, my okay, fingers are crossed and uh, wish me luck, you guys. That's not the crack part rock stuff yet. It's the, the next part. That was just the tack. It's super 
super happy with where we're at. We literally locked and loaded. Okay, this is it. This is where the heat needs to go. It needs to happen fast. It needs to happen efficiently, quickly, swiftly, technique. And just do it. Just do it. If I drank, which I don't, I don't drink alcohol, haven't for what, 13 years, but if I drank, I would go have a beer right now. <laughs> Instead, I think I'm gonna have a nice big drink of water and uh, refresh. That's a little stressful. That's good though. That was real good. I can't set it up until it's cool. That's it for today. Done. I hope you guys are doing something creative today. Anything, because that opens new doorways and you never know what might happen. Good things, good things. And that you're having fun today because that is the pathway of the divine. Stargard Art out. Woodpeckers have been with me during this whole project and remembering that they're the heartbeat and um, he's right, he's right there. video. Which one are you going to do? This one? That one's pretty fun. That one's cool. That one though, that one, mm, that one might be my favorite. This one's pretty fun too though. <laughs> All right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button.